So if you want an easy display wall solution for mounting helmets, here you go. So I use these. They're called half displays for slat walls. You can get them with different mount types, but the slat wall one actually has a hole at the top where you don't have to have a slat wall. You can just put a screw through it into your wall. Alternatively, they do have them for pegboards as well. They run only a couple bucks each, so they make for an inexpensive option. And in addition, there's an option of adding on a gray foam pad that goes over the top circle on the top. It's not particularly well padded, but it does give some additional grip if you have some slippery helmets. But it's totally optional. The only tools I use for the bending process are my hands and a vise. So right now, it doesn't have enough depth for the back. These are designed for hats, so we don't want it hanging like this. We want it hanging more vertical. So I'll show you. I do this. It's pretty easy. Just need to a little torque. I don't want to bend the plate. I only want to bend this portion and go up and uh, <laughs> try and get it about 45 degrees. But um, what I do, yeah, I might have gone too far. I felt a, a slight give there. Uh, I think I'm at the max tolerance. If I push this anymore, it will break off. Um, okay, so but I can get a, definitely get a deep helmet on here so you kind of see what happens to these joints a little bit. But uh, that's the farthest I've gone on any of these. Um, but it still should be okay. Now, now I'm just trying to make this more vertical. And there we go. So now we have something that's where this is appears to be roughly perpendicular to the wall. So if this were perpendicular on the wall, you know that's got a forward tilt to it. I can fit this on it and it stays, so I'm holding the back part pretty much straight up, so I will get an almost direct stare from this helmet rather than the slant. Okay, so now I'm gonna mount these bad boys. And I'll show you how I do it. So the tools I use here are a T-square, a level, a marker, an electric screwdriver, and masonry screws. So I'm gonna put these things about 12 inches apart. I've basically got a T-square and I've got a, um, a level on it. That's magnetic, so it's a little easier to work with and I've already got it lined up. And I've already got this butted up against the other one. So I'm gonna mark my 12 inches and then mark my 24 inches. And I'm gonna make my holes. Before I make these holes, I'm actually going to give myself a little bit of a saving grace by just putting a little tape below it to catch all the rubbish that comes out of this hole. So I don't have to get it all over my floor and do the vacuum job and blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I don't block these too much. <clears throat> hammer drill on hammer mode. Now to peel off the tape with all the debris in it. Ah, like a dream. Okay, now to screw these in. And uh, getting a, a drill in next to these or a, a screwdriver in is uh, can be a bit tough. So I find that this extension, or at least any extension, can help. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get past here appropriately. Perfect. That's, oh no, that's, that's all right. Even nice and tight. And it's nice and firm. Oh, I really got a good bend on these. These are up quarters towards the side. Now let's add our new friends up here. Mm, yeah, it's nice. Nice and firm. This one, I just keep shuffling these things around and toss them on here. And yeah, works great. So that's it, my friends. If it helped you out, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Take care.